Welcome, Tilman. Thank you very much. The topic here of your presentation, enhanced process quality and machine availability for machine tools through edge computing. What's that all about? Um, it is about how you can leverage high frequency data on the shop floor right from your machine tool in order to improve your quality and in order to improve the, the availability of your machines. And I think you see already he knows what he's talking yeah. about. So I'm going to leave the stage to you. Right, go for let's it. Go. Imagine that your machine tool delivers you 100 high frequency vari variables. These are 3 million values per hour or 1.8 gigabyte of data. Would you send all of that data to the cloud? I think you agree that it makes sense to process such high amounts of data, amounts of data locally. Also imagine that with this data you could do all kinds of data analytics and AI tasks. You could, for example, reconstruct the surface and have a very precise feedback on the quality of your products. Would it make sense to pr process this data locally? And also, as you all know, that the um, standards are increasing. You should deliver on time. You should deliver with the best quality. And there are a lot of use cases where it makes sense to have an immediate feedback based on this data. So you want to in analyze that data, get the immediate feedback, and for example, tell your machine tool to stop in case of a critical situation. For all of these use cases, you need new capabilities on the shop floor. Edge computing brings you these capabilities. It is about processing data near the edge of your network instead of sending it to a centralized unit. And you need it in a lot of uh, technology areas today. Just think about autonomous cars. As you can see, this autonomous bus captures data from the environment permanently, analyzes it, and then takes decisions to maneuver safely and securely through the traffic. Siemens created an edge computing solution specifically for the machine tool domain. It is secure, scalable, and future-proof. Cinemeric Edge is a platform for accessing and processing data and turning it into value right at the machine. Now, what does it mean to turn data into value? Before we discuss this and get more into detail, let's talk about five components or five benefits that an edge computing solution should bring. First of all, it should give you access to high frequency data in an efficient way. Secondly, it should give you computing power in order to, do, to perform very advanced tasks on this edge device. Third, it should have a central management to keep the applications and the device up to date. Why is that? Because the innovation cycles are getting faster. So it is a requirement to keep your applications up to date and to keep your security infrastructure up to date as well. Also, it should be, of course, very secure, but it should also be open in a way that everybody can program individual applications for individual use cases. And last but not least, it should have flexible communication interfaces for some of you, it might make sense to send the results to an MES system, to an ERP system. Others might send their results to the cloud in order to have the maximum transparency. And Cinomeric Edge offers you exactly this data access to 100 high-frequency variables. Um, you can get up to 1,000 values per second. Um, because it captures the data in interpolation and position controllers, controller cycle. And now you might wonder if the performance of the CNC machine is affected in any way of this. And we made a stress test with one of our aerospace customer. The result was that only 0.5% of, of the controller performance was affected when we captured the maximum amount of data, which is 90 high-frequency variables, also 42 low-frequency variables in the um, highest possible frequency. Coming to the next topic, what does Cinomeric Edge and what does edge computing enable? And I introduced five use cases for you very briefly. For example, you could monitor uh, variables in real time and get feedback about the quality. And with this immediate feedback, for example, for some parts, you don't have to do quality checks anymore. Secondly, you could compare the real data with a virtual twin on the edge device for example, two seconds in advance in order to avoid collisions. If they occur in the virtual environment, you can stop your machine in time. Also, you could imagine 
AI-based image recognition. And this image recognition is happening on the Edge device and gives you a feedback whether the correct workpiece is in the machine tool. Another very exciting use case is um, send condensed data to the cloud, for example, to give you an overview about the status of your machines. And after all, we have a use case for mathematical optimization on the use case uh, on the machine tool. In this case, we optimize the position of tools inside of a magazine. Now, I mentioned that our devices should stay up to date all the time. For this, we have a MindSphere connection, which ensures that you can, for example, add new features to applications regularly. You can do bug fixes. You can also keep the environment and the um, running system of the Cinemaric Edge up to date all the time. However, this does not mean that a permanent cloud connection is necessary. The cloud connection is only necessary whenever you want to put updates on the device, not during production. We talked about a secured ecosystem, and this is about hardware and software. Siemens takes care about the security and the whole infrastructure of this system. What you can do, so not just Siemens, also machine builders, also customers, also third parties, they can develop apps. Basically, anybody could develop apps. Um, we support the common high-level program programming languages. And um, yeah, the programming is quite intuitive and easy and you should try it out. We talked about connectivity as well. Now, you could imagine a use case, as already mentioned, where you get immediate feedback about the quality of your workpiece. Then it is an input for your MES system, and the MES system that you don't, knows that you don't need to do quality check for a certain component. Others of you, for them it might make sense to have this worldwide transparency about the quality of the produced components. What we learned so far is that you need edge computing to access high-frequency data, to process it locally, to have a very low decision latency. We also learned that edge computing is an important component of the IoT landscape, where there are special use cases where cloud computing makes sense, and some that I introduced to you where edge computing really makes sense. However, we didn't precisely discuss yet how data is turned into value exactly. And for this, let me introduce two use cases to you. First of, all, first of all, the value drivers, like based on what do you want to generate value. The first one is machining process quality. We believe that with this data, we can achieve a 100% in-process quality control. Secondly, machine availability. We believe that we can achieve a 100% technical availability of our machine tools. And third, we believe that by leveraging 100% of the available machining knowledge with lies inside the data, we can achieve the next level of productivity and flexibility on the shop floor. Concerning the first value driver, um, process quality, workpiece quality will be an increasingly important competitive factor in the future. So we need to find the root cause of our quality problems. And now we have a lot of data but what to do with this data, how to analyze it. And for this, we developed a closed loop process in order to improve the quality of work pieces based on real production data. The first step would be you create your work piece, then you produce, and during production, you capture this real production data with Analyze My Work Piece Capture. It is really intuitive to use, and you can decide yourself which variables you want to look at. Then you analyze them with Analyze My Workpiece Toolpath. The simplest use case is that you can make an S is and to be uh, comparison of the data and find differences in the model. And then, based on the uh, results that you find, you can improve your model. You would do that regularly over the life cycle of your workpiece to have a closed process improvement loop for your workpiece production. Looking at the second value driver, Machine availability. You are supposed to deliver on time um, in a good quality. This is increasingly important for our customers. And at the same time, it's a challenge for our machine builders to offer new services to their customers. So what could they do? They could leverage one of their core capabilities. They know their machines very well. And now we give them a tool 
to understand their machines even better in order to offer new services and business models to their customers. And the, as mentioned, the challenge of the customers is to produce um, on time and in a better quality. For this, we have analyzed my machine condition. What does it do? It offers you a higher machine availability by creating a mechanical fingerprint of the machine tool. Now, the first step is a customer would set up the machine. Then let the application run one time, do tests in order to define the good values. Then, after some weeks of production and regularly over the entire life cycle of the machine, do these tests again. Verify the variables and then identify if there are some uh, variables that are not in scope or in the uh, right area. After that, you could do a service on the machine. You could give a recommendation how to use the machine differently. You would do this regularly over the life cycle of the machine in order to keep your machine healthy, in order to produce on time. Now, after learning why edge computing is so relevant, that it is an important component of the IoT landscape, we also learned how it can actually deliver value by improving process and workpiece quality, by assuring machine availability, and by achieving the next level of productivity and flexibility. Now, I kindly invite you to meet us over there. We are below the Mindsphere Lounge in the future, future of Automation area and to discuss more about these edge computing use cases, but also about individual edge computing use cases of your. Thank you very much for your attention. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.